2024 Forex Beginner Guide or Forex Guide. The first video that I want to put out there in this year, this new year of 2024 is the missing link, guys. I know you have been trading Forex for maybe one year, two years, five years, 10 years, and maybe you have not been profitable. But what the Holy Spirit told me to focus on this 2024 is the missing link. When I speak of missing link is that there's a link where, there's a link if it misses, everything that you know about Forex seems not to make sense. It's like constructing a house. You can do a very good construction, do good, very foundation, but if you miss something uh, in, during that construction, it can make the, the whole house to fall down. So just get it uh, that in this 24 Forex guide, I'll be talking of what really people miss in their trading. What is that missing link? And this is our first lesson of 2024. So what I want you to prepare is prepare a teachable spirit. Be very, very open to be taught because at the end of the day, this year 2024, you have to, you, you, it has to be different. It will be different. So uh, let's start this lesson and I hope you will learn a lot. I hope this is the video that you have been looking for. I want you to comment down below if you find so much knowledge, so much wisdom. The only thing I want you to comment down below is this is the video that has been missing in my trading or this is the missing link. I want you to comment that. This is what I have been missing in my Forex trading. This is the missing link. This is the video I've been missing. This is the information I've been missing. I want to get to know and understand are people really enjoying this kind of uh, videos. So January prepare for learning. We'll be learning here for free because again, I understand that God cannot give me this knowledge for myself only. It is for his people and for those who are willing to learn. So if you're willing to learn for free, most welcome. If again you want to advance uh, and add on what I'm giving for free, always know that I have a free course. Uh, I have a free course here on YouTube and also I have a paid course. So just to tap me, the number is there on the description box for tap me and I'll give you more details on my paid course, which is $400. So let's get into the video. So you open the monthly time frame. Let me tell you, the first missing link is people who don't go to the higher time frame. So number one is higher time frame. One thing that misses in your trading, uh, trading uh, journey is not including higher time frame in your trading higher time frame. And when I say of higher time frame, don't underestimate higher time frame. I know many people love 10, five, five minutes, 15, 30 minutes, one hour. But again, higher time frame, it will be your baseline. Like this is what will give you direction. So I don't want you to ignore higher time frame at all costs. So if you've been watching my videos and you think, oh, for me, I think I will do one hour and most four hours. Let me tell you, there's something you're missing if you're not sleeping to your monthly time frame and weekly and daily. So this is what I tell my students. Any student that come across to me, I come across with, I tell them, take higher time frame as your opinion time frame. So yes, how do you use high time frame? It's the one that gives you the opinion and the direction. So opinion equals direction. So what higher time frame is trying to tell you, it's try, trying to give you long-term direction. So let me add on here, long-term. So higher time frame tends to give us long-term direction. Do not underestimate long-term direction. Why? You might be scalping and making money for one month. And then when the market now goes to higher time frame direction, you might lose everything you have accumulated for one month. So I highly suggest people to really take note on the higher time frame. Just say, if I want to start trading in 2024, I will be consulting monthly time frame weekly time frame, daily time frame, four hour time frame. Before I go to 15 minutes, I need to understand what the market is doing on the higher time frame. That is number one. The second thing I want you to understand on the missing link, people really ignore patterns. Patterns. Patterns is your friend. Patterns 
uh, your friends. So many people have uh, identified so many patterns in the Forex chart. We have double tops, double bottoms. We have raging channel. We have channel breakouts, support channel breakouts at resistance. We have flags. We have uh, we have ascending. I think they are called what. Uh, cup and handle, we have inverted cup and handle. All these patterns are good when you're doing analysis. If you've been trading just support break, uh, resistance break, maybe the missing link if you have not paid attention on, on patterns. If you are a, a trend line trader, why can't you incorporate patterns in your trading? If you trade indicators, moving average, why don't you uh, incorporate double tops in your trading. So for me, I believe the missing link, most people I assume patterns. I tell people that I train six patterns. In my course, there are six patterns. But in this channel, I have really, like I have said, I will teach you two patterns. So if you're my student here on YouTube, it is abomination if you don't know about double tops and double bottoms. If you don't know these two patterns, I don't know what you're doing with your life. This is a challenge, guys. You need to know the secrets of double bottoms and double tops. So you need to be very good with double bottoms and double tops. So if you're not good with these two patterns, uh -uh, there's something that is missing. And then we need to trade. Uh, yes, higher time frame is good. Patterns are good. And the third thing that people miss is time frame alignment. This is a whole module in my course that is called time frame alignment. What is time frame alignment? Is when you're trying to align, when you're trying to align monthly time frame using weekly time frame. For instance, you might find the market is on an uptrend on monthly. So this market is an uptrend and the market is like that. So for you, you're thinking, oh, I'm looking for a buy opportunity here so that I can continue to buy. Why? Because the market is on uptrend. But what you don't understand is that when you flip, so this should be maybe monthly. So this is monthly time frame. And it is clear it's on an uptrend. So majority people, majority of people will come and try to look for buy opportunity. So they'll say, oh, the market is retracing, so I will look for buy opportunity. And that's how they will trade that market. Not knowing on the weekly time frame, what is happening on the weekly time frame? What is happening on the weekly time frame? Yes, the market was up, down, up, down, up, down. But this up, what you can see here as a double top, there is nothing you are seeing as a double top. On the weekly, maybe you can see clearly a double top. Can you see? So the result of this market to come down, the market going on a downtrend, it is visible on both time frame. But what is missing, on weekly time frame, we have a double top, but on the monthly, we do not have any pattern. You understand? So this sell, it can be as a result of a pattern. And you, you're waiting for the market to continue going up. But eventually, what did the market do? The market has already broken that neckline. So the market looks like this. So these are two people. One is observing the market at the monthly time frame, and the other one is observing the market at the weekly. They have different, they have different outcomes. Number one, they are not even seeing, this one they cannot say it's a double top because they don't have any pattern. But this one, the market, they, the, the traders who are trading weekly time frame, they will wait for retracement at the neckline and then they will get this market down. So what happens is that this market will sell and you'll be stopped out and you'll be thinking, why did the market sell? It's called time frame alignment. You are not able to align the time frame. Are we together, guys? So the time frame alignment is very, very, very important. You might see the market, yes, it's on an uptrend, but one has a pattern, the other one does not have. And what we'll be looking at this pattern, um, this trade today, we are looking at all these things, this, the three things I'll say. First, higher time frame, it's giving us a long-term direction. Number two, patterns. Patterns are good because they give us a, a go ahead. What are, are we really waiting on? And then time frame alignment. So if you have this, if you have the three of them, 
it would be good. So let's start with um, higher time frame. So we have said the number one thing we are starting is higher time frame, higher time. And then number two, we are starting with the number two, we will check on the patterns. And number three is time frame alignment. So let's let's now start analyzing this pattern. So let's say, for instance, you are given this, uh, you, 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 you are told to analyze GBPUSD. Number one, we need to come to the monthly. You have seen here, this chart is a monthly time frame. So what the monthly time frame is, or is helping us is giving us a direction, a long-term direction, and it is telling us the opinion of the market. Just understand that we have two players in the market. We have the buyers and we have the sellers. So we have the buyers and we have the sellers. When in the market you have the buyers and the sellers, it's you to know who has more power. So monthly sometimes give us more power to know that yes, buyers are in control, sellers are in control, and these sellers are there for long term. So yes, we have now monthly time frame. How do we identify who is in control? We'll use patterns. So if you check on this, if you check on this, this uh if you try to check here, this chart, we have a pattern here. We have a double top. Can you see? We have this double top. Can you see that double top? So this is what I'm telling you. Imagine having a pattern on monthly time frame. It is sort everything. It sorts, it sorts a lot. So we have that double top on the monthly. So number one thing, you have to go to the monthly. That is number one. Number two, you have to check for a pattern. And you understand this pattern, we still have a small pattern. And you see this small pattern, we still have the small double top. So we have a bigger double top and we have a smaller double top. So you have to be keen on what the market is doing. Yes, we have the bigger one and still we have the small one. So the bigger double top, where is the neckline? This is our neckline. The small double top, where is the neckline? So this is our neckline. So this is a small double top, that's our neckline. So we have two patterns. We have the double tops, both of them are double tops. And that is the best thing because both of them are suggesting as double tops. Both of them are suggesting a sell. Anytime you have a double top, it is telling you to sell. How does a double top look like? Double top is the market that is going up, up, and then all of a sudden it fails to break that high and it creates a double top. That's what we are talking about. So these double tops, most of the time it goes down. So double tops are there for us to sell. Double tops are there for us to sell. So in this case, we have a double top and we have two of them. And we have to find the half of the bigger one. So eventually this market is telling us Long term, imagine knowing the long term of this market is telling you that it is coming there at 1.2884. So if you sell right away, you are getting 604 pips. That's what this market is telling you. So the purpose of monthly time frame and monthly pattern is to give you long term. So majority of people know this. The only missing link of many and majority of traders is not to understand time frame alignment. People who don't understand how time frame alignment work, they will come right away and enter this trade short term and they enter sale. So what will happen here, you not understanding something called time frame alignment has deprived you to understand the true entry of this trade. So according to the smaller double top, when the market breaks neckline, it goes the same distance. So even the smaller double top, it is saying it will go up to there, like the market will go that distance. So let's focus on the bigger double, uh, double top. Now, something else you need to understand is that on the monthly, we do not have any pattern whatsoever on the downside. Like we don't have a double bottom. Can you see? We don't have a double bottom. In fact, on the, on the higher time frame, on the monthly, 
they have supported a cell because we have great infrastructure. So all along, cell has agreed. But something that now is missing, the missing link for this rate to get 605 pips is something we call time frame alignment. So monthly is telling us to do what? Is telling us to sell. Why is it sell telling us to sell? Because it has a, a double top. That is monthly. Now let's go to weekly because we have to do time frame alignment. Monthly has to agree at least two time frame has to agree. So monthly has to agree with weekly and also agree with daily and also agree with four hour. But if we find that weekly is not agreeing with monthly, daily is not agreeing with weekly, let's be in trouble. So let's go to the weekly time frame. So when I flip on the weekly time frame, let's first go to monthly and make this visible on the weekly. So when we go to the weekly time frame, majority will not even pay attention what is happening. Majority will go and sell. But every time frame you have to use it specific. Like you have to consult every time frame in a specific way. So when I come to time frame, uh, to weekly time frame, I'll start again. I will ask myself, do I have a pattern? Because the pattern on the weekly has to align with the pattern of the monthly. If weekly has a pattern, and you can see this small double top, it has a double top, and um, the market has double top. It has the bigger double top and the small double top. So that one is aligning perfectly. But the problem with this weekly time frame is that it has a double bottom. This pattern is coming to contradict. And this is where people don't understand the market. So I have a double top on the day on the monthly, but I have a double bottom on the weekly. And this double bottom, if it's OPT, you remember, guys, we, 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 we learned about OPT. If it's OPT, one pattern on one time frame, if the market has OPT, it means that that pattern is very powerful. So first, let's understand if it's OPT. Can you see, do we have a double bottom on monthly? No. Meaning this double bottom, it is very, very powerful. And when I mean powerful, it means that this double top, double bottom, this double bottom, it has its own neckline and it owns half. So you need to understand that this market has its own neckline and its own half, like that. So we have like that. So if you understand, monthly has said you sell. Monthly, it is very okay, sell. But you, we cannot assume the fact. You see, many traders here is where they lose it. Because monthly, they, they attempted to sell with monthly time frame and the market bought. And that's why many people say they don't like higher time frame because they don't do anything. Let me tell you, any higher time frame telling you to sell, you have to align it with the weekly time frame. So weekly time frame, now we can come back here and say on the weekly time frame, so we are trying all along, we are trying to, to align. It's telling us to buy. Why? Because of that double bottom so one is telling us to sell the other one is telling us to buy which one will you agree with which one do you think it's agree you will agree with which one do you think you will agree with so by the time the market is telling us it wants to buy and you see we cannot enter buy without being given the, the authorization by weekly. So I don't think there's not there's need of going to daily time frame because daily time frame will make everything more complicated. So the only thing I can tell you, there's no need of going to four hour because again, four hour will complicate things. So two things can happen here. Two things can happen here in this case. You can buy or you can sell. So there's, you will buy if the market gives you WBB of guys, you know, WBB wait for green candle, check if it's bullish and if you not put a box, buy until half. So buying, you cannot say, I won't buy because monthly it is selling. No, 
we will use the pattern, the current pattern that is there. And the current pattern now is this possible double bottom that was we are using. And again, we can sell, we can sell if weekly has inverted cap and handle. We can sell if, if, if it has inverted cap and handle. Imagine selling, it is easier. Why? Because this pattern that you're seeing, it can give us two things. So here we can buy if we have a double bottom giving us WBB. We can sell if we have inverted cap and handle. So at the end of the day, no one, no banks, no market makers will give you an easy way out. Don't say Forex is a scam if you cannot able to understand it. Don't think Forex is an easy way if you're not able to put time in it. And this is what I teach in my class. People say that what is that that you're teaching and everything is on YouTube. Trust me, you won't find any YouTuber trying to tell you these things because they know immediately if you get it, you'll never come back to their videos. So they will just give you, toast you around, tell you this, tell you that, so that you keep coming to their YouTube videos. But for me, I already know that I'm not called for a specific, as in I'm not called for, um, I, I'm not called for people who just come every day. I'm called for people who come and then they make something for themselves and they give room to other people. For me, I understand my calling is not for just category and it is done, it's for a generation. And as much as, People are coming here to learn. They need to get these things and they need to be testimonials to other people. So they need to come and watch me practice, make money, and they preach it out that these things really work. That's my mission. So there is no way I can hide these things for you because I am commanded to do these things. So I'm telling you for sure, any pattern you will ever see with your eyes, it has two outcomes. As much as we love patterns, as much as we will preach patterns every single day, anytime you see a double top, it has two outcomes. This is what I mean. If you see a double bottom, first bottom, second bottom, this market has an outcome breaking half and going like that. So the first outcome is to complete that double bottom. That should be engraved in your mind that every time I see a double bottom, the first outcome is to break neckline, to break half. That is the first outcome. So I have my half there, I have my neckline. So my first outcome is the market to come and do what? to come, I have the double bottom. So my first outcome is the market to come, break this half, enter again, break this neckline and continue this distance. The market to continue that distance. That is the first outcome, guys. And it will go half of this distance. So it is not going straight. It's not guaranteed again. It is not guaranteed to finish. And the, bit, the quicker you understand this, the easier your learning curve will be. The easier it will be. Like if you ever see a double bottom, the first outcome is complete double bottom. That is the first outcome. Complete what? Complete double bottom. It goes all the way. The second outcome that you have to notice with the market, if the market has a double bottom, it might not able to break half. And eventually what will it do? It will break the double bottom and continue down. So this is the second outcome of a double bottom. And we call it a cup and handle. 
So don't be blinded, hoping that the pattern that you find, that is exactly what it will do. No, don't trade that way. You'll be disappointed. I'm telling you, there will be so much disappointment when you are trading a pattern that is a cup and handle and you want to buy. So you buy here and the market sell on you. Oh, you come and start selling here and the market completes. You sell again, the market completes. So the outcome of these two patterns, this is the same pattern, but it has two outcomes. I can go on even with that outcome that gives us a ranging market. A double bottom can be used to have a double bottom like that. And instead of coming and breaking, breaking our neckline, it refuses and it forms a ranging channel. So at the end of the day, a double bottom, you have to view it in a way of understanding. So many things can happen in the same double bottom I'm viewing. So don't be so quick to say, oh, this strategy is not working. The question that you need to ask yourself, did you understand the pattern that was being created? This alone is a full course. This is a full course that I teach. It's a whole module of a shifting double bottom and a shifting double top. This is a full course. And these are some of the things 2024 you have to put in a lot of time. So I'm trying to say, as much as we have this possible double bottom, number one, it can, it can come. So let me mark it so that for easy, uh, you might know what I'm really saying. So these are possible double bottom. This is our neckline. And this is our half day. That's our half. So what I'm trying to say is that the market can either buy. If it will buy, it needs to come and break half, break neckline, and move forward. Where is it moving forward? To this distance. That is. That is one episode. Can you see? The market can do that. And here we have TP3 and TP4. So the guaranteed take profit is half, and then the other one full distance. So this is one, that one way this market can. And it's good to know even before it happens. Why? It will save you a lot of headaches. Because you won't be forcing things. So that double bottom can do that. Imagine understanding that. The second thing this double bottom can do is to give us an inverted cup in hand. Like this market coming here and refusing to break this half and then breaking down and going that distance. So the question is, where do you think or what do you think this market will be? What do you think the market will be? Do you think the market will go? Can you tell? The question is, can you tell what the market is about to do? So that's the distance. You can see that's the distance of that. So the, the thing is, can you tell what exactly the market will do? If you can't tell, that's why not everyone who makes money in this forex. If you cannot be able to tell what the market will do from here, and again, the market can still come, break half, but fails to break the neckline and goes back and now becomes a ranging channel. A double bottoms can be a ranging channel. So if 2024, there's nothing more you will get in the forex market, understand time frame alignment. That you can come out from monthly knowing the market will sell, but when you hit weekly, the market decides it is going to do something. And you see, they, they just give you option. So here we have three options. The market can buy, the market can sell. So what are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? So we want to see, will, will the market buy or will the market sell? And again, you can't just, you can't start going to lower time frame. Why are we not able to go to lower time frame? We're not able to go to lower time frame Number one, because 
we don't want to think to buy if at all we don't have a weekly entry because the double bottom is on weekly. So let's wait for WBB. That's the first thing that you do. Just be familiar with what is okay with you. Double bottom, how do you enter double bottom? We use WBB, wait for a green candle, check if it's bullish anchor, if not WBB. So we wait, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So you have a green candle, right? So you put a box, it has not engulfed because engulfing means this green candle engulfs that. It has not engulfed. So you come, you put a box, guys. You put that box. So you wait for another week. So all along, that is one week. So we will be checking how long. So that is one week. So one week of waiting, one week of waiting. So we have one week. We have waited for one week. Let's wait for another one. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So we have the second week. And the second week we are being told to buy now. Second week. So the second week we are told to do what? To buy. So we are being told to buy up to the half. And when we are being told to buy up to the half, it's how many pips? 109 pips. 109 pips. Now, understand this. When we were told to sell on monthly, what did we do? Did we sell immediately or we went on the weekly to check for any obstacle? We did time frame alignment. Now weekly has told us to buy and it is telling us to buy how many pips? 107. So this one is telling us to buy 107 pips. 107 pips. So it is telling us buy 107 pips. So what are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to get in on a buy blindly or are we supposed to flip on the daily to look for any hindrance, obstacles, entries? Yes, we know it's a buy and we will get 100 pips. But is, is it not good to, to, to flip? And this is the second week. So the second week, the first week, we were, not to, we were told not to do anything. The second week, we were told buy now. So you're supposed, the, the correct thing, any time frame that is telling you enter, you're supposed to go to the next time frame, the lower time frame, to look, am I sure I want to buy? So if I go to daily time frame, that's what I have. This is daily time frame. So I'm going on the daily time frame and I can start sensing that that buy, it might be fake. Why? Because I have this pattern and this pattern is not visible on the weekly. So this pattern alone will limit me to buy. Let me show you. I have this pattern. They have not put this pattern for anything else. They have put this pattern for you. For you guys, for you. They have put this pattern for those people who don't pay attention. So for me, I cannot think of buying. Why? Because I'm thinking, wait a minute. If what if I buy, I cannot buy at a resistance. I can only wait for resistance to break so that I might get a very good buy. So I may not, I may not be able to buy. So buying stops there until until um daily tells me or give me the reason to buy so i'm waiting patiently because this double top is nowhere on the weekly so it's very very powerful so i'm thinking no i'm not i'm not going to buy let's go back there i'm not going to buy because how can i buy a double top it's either they give me a, 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 a cup in handle. Maybe the market comes halfway and they give me a cup in handle. You see, they give me a cup in handle. So I'm not ready to buy yet. So I'm looking for either buy if the market will break here or sell if the market gives me a WBB. So my eyes are open. I'm not yet biased because what the market makers are looking for you to do 
is for you to be biased, to choose one side. They already know if you choose one side, they have got you. So we are waiting for WBB. So they already know ah, this one, if they choose to buy, they will do this. If they choose to sell, we'll do this. So you wait, we get a red candle. You see, we get a red candle. Immediately we get a red candle. Uh, note, we are using our strategy. We are using WBB strategy. So WBB strategy will prevent you from doing funny stuff. Note, even if weekly you're being told to buy, this pattern that is not on the weekly, don't buy if this pattern has not been used. So we are waiting for the red candle to break and guess what? The market goes out and it's almost touching, almost touching, almost touching the half. And you see all along, this double bottom was used to trap people. The double bottom on the weekly was used to trap people. So you're wondering, what is happening? I had this possible double top. The market has broke. It's almost starting here. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot buy. I'm thinking selling because remember, monthly is your opinion time frame, is your long term direction. And and I and I and I want to say out there, by the time you are at this level, you have forgot monthly had said sell. You have forgot. Because the agenda of market makers is to make you forget. And if at all they will use even one, one month for you to forget monthly was a sale. Even if they will use one month, let me tell you, they will use that one month just to confuse you. So you have to note that we could not sell immediately because we had a double bottle. And we knew if we are supposed to sell, we can sell around the half because half there's so many reasons for us to sell. We have a double, a double uh, top. We can have a double top happening. We can have all those things. If we go to four hour notes, if we go to four hour, the market has no pattern. Can you see? The market has no pattern. We don't have any pattern. Why? Because they have even broken. They have, they have broken. You can see we have broken that double top that we would have used. So at the end of the day, we are just remaining on daily because there's nothing we can do on the daily. So we are, we are, we are waiting on two things. You flip on the weekly. If this double bottom will work, I will enter sell, I will enter buy. Let them now break half. If this market is that powerful, if they break half, Okay, I will enter buy. Or I will forget completely on the sale if they break that half. I, I want you to have strategies that are powerful 2024. I want you to have strategies that are very powerful, strategies that it's either the market breaks or not. Like you have these strategies that it's either this market breaks or not. Like there is no way you're not guessing, you're not second guessing yourself. I don't want people to second guess themselves. I want you to have strategies that are very, very powerful, such that if a double bottom is nearing half, you don't buy until they break. So for us to buy, so for us to buy, and you see, for us to buy, so this week they were telling us to buy, the, the limit was this, the, the, the pattern here on the daily. So many people may think, oh, but this is too much, let me tell you. When monthly has told you to sell, in fact, you would want any obstacle not allowing you to buy because you would want every time frame to agree with monthly. So any time frame that is telling you buy, you should be very careful. So any time frame that is telling you to sell, be there with all your heart. So we are there at weekly, weekly. If the market breaks, you're entering. Again, if this market, um, if this market doesn't break weekly, what are you supposed to do? So we have this, um, we have this market. Let's go back to weekly because again, on the, on the daily, there's nothing that happened. In fact, what we thought it's a double, uh, double top, the market has violated. So you're just waiting to see what will happen. 
So you wait to see what will happen and the markets start to range. So the market is ranging, you're not doing anything, you're not buying. There is no way you can buy when the market is nearing half. Don't be lied to. You cannot buy when the market is nearing half. So what happens? The market goes back again. It's like they are doing second, second attempt. So this second attempt, what you don't understand is happening is that there's a pattern that has been created, a small pattern. And you see, these small patterns are the ones that makes a difference. These small patterns are the ones that make a difference. So a small pattern that is being created and we have a double top and you have a double bottom. So they already know that they are about to give you an entry. They are about to give you an entry. And also they will even make it difficult because majority of people are buying because they're thinking, and this market will still buy. So for you, what I want you to understand from this tutorial is the missing link. If you miss it, here is where people make mistakes. This is where people just uh, make bad mistakes, bad choices. So the market will do what? The market will range. The market will range. And finally, from the double top, the market breaks out. These small double tops, the market drops breaks this is your entry guys this is your entry point this is your entry for that monthly sale so monthly uh started at we started new month first october and the entry you were given 29th october in fact after one month that's when you are given a sale entry this is to show you before the month gives you an entry you will have to suffer waiting for an entry. So daily has allowed you to enter sale and you can see it's clear all along. How is it clear all along? Sellers were weak, you can see here, sellers were weak, never broke. But here the market is showing you it has broken. If you're not comfortable, if you're not comfortable with that entry, if you're not comfortable with that entry, you will wait this entry for cap and handle. You remember me telling you, the other entry is if the market breaks this one. If you're not comfortable with entry one here, you will be comfortable if this double bottom is violated. So if we enter here, if we enter here, our take profit cannot be all the way. Why? How sure are we if this market will come down and break? We cannot assume. So if you enter here, your take profit will be around this area. So we are targeting how many pips? We are targeting 234 pips. And now we wait for the market to break. We are waiting for the market to break here. So it is not, um, oh, I will just sell and that is it. No, you have to be very careful. So you have to notice the reason why we have entered this sale, it's because we have a new pattern. Can you see that new pattern? It can be arranging, it can be a double top. So we are selling because of that new pattern. So that's why we are selling. And if we sell with that new pattern, the market, if we want to enter to take our profit, it can only be this area, this zone. That's where we are entering our take profit because here we didn't have a double. Did we have a double top here? Let's see if it activated. It was never activated. So majority of time, the market will come up to this neckline. I don't know if other brokers it activated because it was like one or two pips away. But what I'm trying to tell you is that when you find that monthly it was even a sale, now they have stayed how many weeks? One, two, three, four. Four weeks, a whole month just to sting people around. You can sell and sell up to that area I've told you. So you come and say short position, these 200 pips, I will take them until they break that area. Once they break now, I can enter again. So you're getting 235 pips. Let's see what happens after the 235 pips. Monday, Tuesday. You can see they took one week, one week to go back. Like, Four weeks of waiting, one week of profit. That's how crazy this market is. One week, 
of hitting target, but four weeks of taking you round and round and round. And once your take profit is hit, you can even delete this and say, I have a double bottom. See, I have a double bottom that failed to go to break half. You see, that's why I was telling you guys. And you see, at this time, the market can still come back up and break that half. That's why I was saying that's the good exit point. Because there's no way you can be on this trade hoping they will break when you're inside. No. You're outside and then you hope when you're outside. You hope when you're outside, not when you're inside. So this is it. So you are saying this market can come here up to this half. Can you see? I'm hoping this market will do what? Will come up to that area. But you can't be this ignorant to hope the market will come to your half and fail to see this obstacle. And you see that obstacle? Because every time in the market, they will always use patterns. So this pattern can make the market, can make the market fail to come at, around here. So the first thing first is to wait for the market to break because even at where the price is now, the truth of the, the matter is, the market can still go up and break there and go up like that. So the only reason that can make this market to sell is if they break and you have to wait for that break and your take profit should be this result like that. That should be your take profit. Can you see guys? So at, at the end of the day, monthly is giving you direction, yes. It is giving you direction, but you have to use your common sense, like you have to use your brain to be able to to be able to make decisions. Any red flag, you have to be very careful. So these are the missing links in your trading. If you can only follow this video to the letter and you just rewind where I'm saying, every time the market will give you this profit, they give you this profit, but you have to wait for them to break. So let's see what happened. So the market assumed it is going to break and that is it, they break. So here you are confident that this market is coming here. You are confident, you are 100%. So not only you're working with the monthly telling you to sell, because monthly is higher time frame, your opinion month, your long term is your higher time frame that is telling you, I, she has, you have to sell. No weekly is agreeing. Weekly has agreed. Now, Let's say, how many pips? Again, 200 pips. So you have waited for another one week. It's like you enter, you take a break. You enter, you take a break. So if we enter right now, short position, we want 200 pips. We want 200 pips. We enter, we want 200 pips. Let's see what happens. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We don't get anything. This is not the time to cancel the trade. That's where you go wrong. You hold that trade because a pattern, if the pattern gives you an entry, you don't, you cannot, you cannot um, prevent or you cannot dictate how it will go. Will it retrace? Will it go down slowly, faster? No. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. One week, you have how many pips? You have 82. You had 192, and then the market retraced, you have 80 something. So if you feel like you want to cancel the trade, it's okay. Already you have half of the, the pips you wanted. So we start a new week, Monday, Tuesday, and the tip is hit on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So 200 pips gained after how many weeks? Two weeks. So what I'm trying to teach you is that patience pay. Patience will always pay. Patience will always pay. Higher time frame if they say this and they will do exactly what they say. 
So patience will always. So you have, the market has hit the take profit, but guess what? What has been activated? A new pattern. So we need first to understand, is this new pattern just a pattern? Is it on the monthly? So you go to the monthly time frame. Is it there on the monthly? It's not there on the monthly, meaning any pattern that is only on one time frame, like weekly, is not on monthly. It's very powerful. So you start again. Now I have a new pattern. You forgot, you forget about your double, your double bottom. What it has activated a new pattern that is only on one time frame. If this pattern was on the monthly, you do not pay attention. The fact that it's only on weekly, it's not on the monthly, you are paying attention. So you start again. What do I look on a double bottom? I'm looking to buy, right? So what strategy do I require? I require WBB. So what am I waiting on? I'm waiting on green candle. Then I check if it's bullish angle. So you wait for green candle Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday. So you get a green candle, you put a box. You see? You put a box. So you start again, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Your box, it's done. The market didn't break. And this is what I tell people, don't now outsmart the market. The market has told you we are not buying. So you will start again. So you remove the box and you come and say, I want a green candle either to be a very bullish angle. And then you can start from there, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Has it bullish engulfed? Yes, it has broken that. It has engulfed the red candle, the indecision. So imagine again, how long has it taken you to enter this trade? What I need to, to you to understand is that Anytime you want to get a perfect trade, it will take you more than three weeks. This idea of you trade every day, I want it 2024 to die. Let it die. Why? Because if you find yourself, Monday you have a trade, Wednesday you have a trade, Friday you are missing it. You can you see how many weeks it took? One, two, three good weeks. You waiting three weeks for you to get an accurate trade you need at least three weeks for you to get an accurate trade. And this one, you're holding. You're not even afraid. You're not even afraid. So you're afraid of what? 319 pips. Imagine even if you put one lot, even if you put 10 lot, 319 times 10 lot, how much is that? Let's do the math. 319 times 10 lot is $100 per lot. So here you get 319, 100. So you are getting that 1,000, that 1,900. Do you know how much is that 1,000 in Kenya shillings? Let me calculate for you. Times 156. So if I have um, 319, I have waited for three weeks and I've said, um, 391, that is 4.9 million. 4.9 million just waiting for three weeks but the problem is people see how long they are waiting on the market they don't see the price they don't see the bigger picture and for me i've said 2024 it will be my swing year any trade i'll be entering it will be an year that i have really waited like i will i, I will not mind i will just enter the trade and i tell god I've entered this trade because of this and this. I don't care about these obstacles. I'll just enter. So imagine you're being promised 4.9 million. So if it is one standard lot, it will be how much? It will be, if your trade entering 319, it will be times 10. So times 10, it will be 3,000. 3, $3,190. And then in Kenya shillings, it will be 490,000. 490K. Imagine. Can't you see we are being we be, we are becoming millionaires in 2024? <laughs> we become millionaires. So we are supposed to buy. Let's see how much, how, how the market behaved. Monday. 
Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Can't you understand that it has taken another three weeks for the market to hit? Is there something fishy with three? Three weeks, three days. Like, why did it take three weeks for us to get an entry, then three weeks for it to hit a market? Is the market trying to tell us something? What do you think, guys? Comment down below. Like, three weeks, you're just waiting. And did we have any drawdown? Even if you put, even if you had, you had put 10 lots, there was no drawdown. The drawdown was only two pips. That could be $200. And then you gain all that, $30,000 for three weeks. The problem is majority doesn't, majority of people don't want to hold and they don't know the good trade to enter and hold. And I'm trying to show you. Another thing, when the market is at this level, what do you think will happen to this trade? We don't forget, monthly we had a double top. And double top, it has a destiny. So this is a double top of monthly. This double top, it has this double top. And the double top has to go to this level. So the double top has to come to this half. And then eventually, eventually go where? Eventually go to the neckline. That is the fate of this market, if they will break the, the half. So, at this double top, understand it's only on the weekly. So, two things can happen. It's either they break and give us complete double bottom, or they break, they come, they break this um, double bottom and they give us a complete cup and handle, inverted cup and handle. The question is will you wait? Will you wait? for this market to break here. No, why? Because they have a pattern here. They have a double top. Can you see? Can you see? This double top will not allow us to wait. So this double top, if it works, we will forget of this cup and handle because market works with current pattern always. The market will work with current pattern. So if you have a current pattern, that's how the market will work. So again, if at all this, this should be our neckline, where is our half? How are we entering this trade if we have to enter? That is our half. So the market has to break that half and then comes and break the neckline. And then we do what? We enjoy all the way down. Why are we so positive on selling? Because of the monthly. Monthly is what is giving us a go ahead to sell. So if we understand the half of the monthly, it's all, almost coming to the same area. So that trade, we can only stretch it to that level. Can see? So we start again. And for me, I don't know why I find weekly time frame sometimes. Uh, yes, you will wait for many weeks, but once the market gives you an entry, you will eat the zuri. Like you will, you will eat that money and enjoy, you know, um, this, these videos are for those people who have lost hope. So I have not wasted your one hour because you are two minutes away for one hour to hit. So this is WBB. So if you have reached up to here, if you have covered one hour, eh, just comment and say, this far, I have to get this thing. This knowledge has to come in me. If you have reached up to here, it's one hour already. Talking for one hour for free, guys. Don't take this for granted. If I start making one million, two million, three million, don't say I'm taking it alone because I'm showing you exactly what I'm doing. So we are waiting for red candles. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So we have a red candle. Notice it has not engulfed, so we can't enter a sale because engulfing has to come to here. And again, we want engulfing and still we want the market to break the half. So let's see, Monday, it has hit our half. So it's like we didn't have an option of entering this, this area. Like this area, that's 200 and something pips, it was not for us. So we wait for the market to break. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So immediately the market breaks the half. What do you think will happen? 
you enter your end your trade short position why are we so confident to enter this trade why are you so confident it's because if you check let's check on the monthly if you check on the monthly do we have any pattern let's see uh we have the pattern so before you enter, because you have the same double top on the monthly, before you enter, let's go to the daily. Don't enter if you have two patterns. Never enter if you have two patterns. So that trade, the reason why we are entering sale, it's not because you have that double top. It's because even on the daily, let's see. Oh. So don't enter because, and that's why I told you time frame alignment. Ah, I thought this video is coming to an end and we are getting other details. And you see guys, so you, you are happy. Oh, double top has broken. And I told you the minute you have a double, the minute you have a double top on the monthly, can you see? We have this double top on the monthly. We have this attempt and now this attempt. Weekly, we still have it. It becomes weak. So when the half is broken, we have to look for a pattern that it has. It has. Um, it doesn't have any other pattern. Like this double bottom is not on the weekly. So we will categorize on this pattern. So two things again will happen on this double bottom: a couple handle or a complete. So all you are selling already. We have been given a go ahead. So you will come and put your buy orders around here. That is one, and come and put your buy orders on the half there and the half of the half. And again, if the market does what? If the market, if the market breaks here. So you have so many chances to enter. So let's see what, and this one, we are not trying to enter buy. Don't try to enter buy, even if it gives you a buy. So we have activated our first entry. Don't, don't enter buy. In our second entry, you see, so the market has come all the way. It has come. Uh, it has activated that. It has activated this pattern, double double bottom. Now, the reason why I was telling you, you cannot go, you cannot rely. Can you see why I was telling you, you cannot rely on half broken? Why? Because this double top is still on the monthly. So what the, the banks do, they only work with the OPT, one pattern. So if... If we wanted to enter this buy, would have entered by here. You see this morning, sir? See, we had a green candle and then you put a box like this. Would have entered this buy and would have made money, this buy, and would have made money to the half. The problem is when this half is broken, can you see the half is broken, guys? The problem is many people will come and continue this entering this. They'll continue entering. Let me tell you, Forex is not as easy as you think. You have to have strategies. So if you come to four hour, when you're seeing the market, when you're seeing the market has given you an entry, what is happening on the on the higher time frame? The market is giving you a pattern. So let's see this pattern. What will happen to that pattern? So you, you are there saying, oh, the market has given, they have broken, but you don't know on four hour, we have a set. So let's see what happens. They activate this double. Can you see the double top? This double top. So and you can and you you can start. Uh, it can be like that. So at the end of the day, market will never move. It will never move unless unless guys unless. So this sell this sell that I'm saying we have a double top. You have a double bottom. You're even confused. What do they want? If you go to the weekly time frame, what what do they want? They don't have like a like a pattern here. They have not they have not uh, we call it they have not broken half, and this double bottom has not broken half. So the thing is, as much as they have not broken, you see this area where I told you, this area is the overall why because it's a cup and handle an inverted cup and handle so by the time you're thinking this is it this is the way the market does this this is the way the market does everything 
So yes, you have these doubles of the half broken half, but we have this double bottle. So that is a tongue twister. So the only thing you can do, the only thing you can do is to note this double top and say, let them break that double top and maybe the market will agree to sell. So the market ranges, ranges, ranges. You can see all that ranging. What the market is doing now, it's making you lose interest and all of a sudden it breaks everything. So when you come to the weekly time frame, you can see after all is said and done, the market starts to sell. And I will now take it fast enough. The market after that, it is sold to the take profit. What the market did, it went up to the half. It continued and finished. This market knew if the people, if if we make it simpler, if we make it simpler for people, they will think forex is easier. So this coming down was very tricky for you guys. Very tricky. Why? Because this double bottom never broke half. So there is no way you could have bought. The only way you can say, I am selling until this half is broken. You can have such, uh, such automaton. Like I will sell until this half is broken. And you can see clearly when we went on the daily, on the daily, this double bottom, they broke half. You can see half was broken, but they activated a new pattern here, double top. So this double top is what really works. So at the end of the day, why were we looking forward to sell? It's because of this double top. This double top is what made us to sell. Can you see? So here is where you are <laughs> all along. That's why I tell people monthly time frame is the best. Why? Because how many people sold, but they blew the account for many, many months. Imagine selling all that and then coming to blow your account. And this one, it was not, like when the market now agreed to sell, this double, they came, and you see, they, they even um, broke half. When half was broken, the market continued, continued, continued. And you can see the market continued up to the neckline. Why? Because the market now had agreed. It had confused a lot of people at this level. So the whole of this video, I was trying to show you the missing link. The fact that you you know the direction of the market, you will not be blinded for buyers. In fact, you'll be very careful to buy, but you'll be quick to sell. So anytime you're being told to sell, sell. When you're being told to buy like here, this double bottom, you're being told, now you can buy, be careful, because you don't know if it's a trap. And you can see here, anytime, the, the obstacle is telling you now sell and the monthly saying sell. Be agreeing with that obstacle. So I hope I have not wasted your one hour. You have taken me time to really explain with this example. If you need this example, it is from, if you want to see this example, is from the market of September, 1st September 2021. This is where I had cut everything. So this is a market for September. 2021 it's a it's a double top that you need to really go and try to see it by yourself this double top what was the hassle for this double top how long did it take to even reach half to even reach half what was the battle between the market reaching this half you see even reaching half alone how long did it take because the 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 lesson was what is the missing link because yes the market dropped but how much how many months did it take for the market to reach to her how long did it take what was the frustration behind you can see all those months for the market just to cap that half so this is to show you that yes the market can give you an entry you had a double top and the entry is here but how long did it take it took one two three four five six seven seven good months for the market to hit half. So monthly, it just gives you direction, direction. But other time frames, they show you what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do. So you have to have that time frame that is showing you this is the way to go. And then the other time frames to give, to get you to go small, small time frame. Thank you so much for, 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 for watching this video. I hope 
you have learned something, comment down below and see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Love you.